And welcome back. Audrey Patrell Parks joins us now in studio. Audrey, you have some amazing pieces here. You're an amazing artist, and we're so happy to feature some of your work today. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell us about uh, the types of artwork that you do. Like, what is your medium? All sorts of mediums. This is why I brought a, a, a variety, few, a variety <laughs> for uh -huh. you to see. Um, I work in charcoal and, and pencil there, pastel here. This is alcohol ink, actually painted on ceramic tile. Oh my. And the last one is also pastel. Very cool. It's very interesting that you have so many different techniques that you mm -hmm. use. So let's walk through each piece and kind of tell us a little bit about it and maybe the inspiration behind it. Absolutely. I think the inspiration is the most interesting part yeah. of the artwork, what yeah. the story is. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is Jerry Mack Johnson. He's a local man. Oh, I know him, yes. And I ran into him at, at Art Walk. And I said, oh, Jerry, you've got to come sit for my class. So did he sit while you did this? He or? sat okay. for my class. We all So it's not a picture. Him. No, it's <laughs> no, no, he sat for us and uh -huh. was, was wonderful. Yeah. So sometimes the inspiration is a character face like him. Mm -hmm. His face just says, draw me. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, and and he's like a char character actor as well. He is. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I may not look like this. I said, because uh, he was playing a part, and I said, no, you can't cut a hair until we're done with you. <laughs> so he came with it like that. I love that. it, I love it. Um, this one was actually sitting on our dining room table one evening, and the sun was coming through, and it just lit up. And to me, it struck mm. me. I thought, I want to capture mm. this moment mm -hmm. before this, the sun moves. And... Um, that's the inspiration behind Well, that. I'm hearing a theme here in that you're in a moment and you see something and yeah. that just inspires you in that moment. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes if I'm out and about and I see somebody who's really interesting looking, yeah. I will stop them and say, I'm an artist. Do you mind if I take your photograph? <laughs> do you get a good response from this? Most of the time most I do. Most of the time? Yeah, yeah most of the time mm -hmm. I do. They're That's like, great. Oh. Oh, yeah. well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Yeah. so don't be surprised, you know, like, the stranger walks up yeah. to you and says, can I take your picture? Yeah, uh -huh. which I feel like is such a cool lesson in the fact that, like, we could all take a little more time to be in the present because then you get this product, you know what I mean? Right. So, all right, what are these two over here? So this one I was telling you was, um, an inspira the inspiration for it was the light coming through. This mm -hmm. is our property in Saddlebrook. And as soon as I saw it, I was wowed by, wow, look at the play of light on everything in this scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, my business has been primarily portraits over the 40 plus years I've done artwork. Oh, wow. But I started to look at things differently and I wanted to um, capture, like you said, mm. those moments yeah. in time where something is different and be surrounded by beauty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This last piece is a really interesting piece in that... Um, the inspiration came from a time I had a quiet time in the morning uh, with the Lord and very rare moment when I said, I'm just going to be quiet and listen. Mm. And I want to hear what you're saying. And he gave me that vision. I can see that from yeah. that painting. That is so calming mm -hmm. too. And I thought, well, okay, this is a, this is a message of hope. We all have ashes. Yeah. And, um, but the more that I got into it, the more I felt a heaviness about the ashes. And I thought, well, why are you feeling that? Because the focus is on the hope mm -hmm. of the dove. And then this, this hit me in, this came to me in November of 2019. And then of right course- Right before. We know what, what a happened. word, yeah. what a word. COVID okay, happened. so we can find you on a website, on your, on your website, which is? AudreyBetrell.com. Okay, and you have Instagram, you have Facebook, if you search her name. Also, you can see her work at Ma Mailbox 2 on West Republic Road, yes. Walnut Street Inn, the local, what is this? The local Bevy. Bevy on okay. Perfect. And Branson Convention Center. Thank you so much right, for being Audrey, here. Thanks for being Thank here. Thank you for having yeah. me. Too. Sorry, I didn't show you that. All right, well, up next, when you think 